One of the new features in Windows 10 is called Quick Assist. You use it to get assistance from someone you trust by allowing them to take control of your computer or you can use it to give assistance to someone who trusts you and has a problem with their computer. Getting to it is done in the following way. Click on the start icon then go to Windows Accessories, click on the down arrow, and you find Quick Assist. Once you click on it, it will open the icon that you see on my desktop. If you use this feature often, a couple of things you can do to make accessing it easier. Number one, you can drag this over to some place here where you can get to it quickly. Number two, once it's opened, you can do a right click and then you can say pin to the taskbar. It will now be permanently and easily accessible through the taskbar itself. Until you decide you no longer need it, then you can unpin it from the taskbar. Let me show you how this is used. In this case, I'm going to give assistance to one of my other computers. Once you click on Give Assistance, you will need to sign in, email or phone number. At this point, you're given a security code, and as you notice, that code expires in 10 minutes. You can send that security code to the person you're going to assist via email, provide instructions, all kinds of ways you can get that information to the other party. In my case, I'm just going to walk over to the other computer and enter it from there. Once the person requesting the assistance enters the code, this pops up on their screen and they have to allow the assistance. Otherwise, the person who is going to give the assistance will never get access to their screen or their computer. But once the other person clicks on the allow button, then this is what will happen. A window will pop up and this is actually the other computer and you are in full control. You can go to that person's computer and you can pretty much control anything you'd like on that computer. You can open up their browser. You can open up their start menu. Go to any one of the programs. You virtually have full control of the other computer, which means you may assist the other person with whatever problem they happen to have. They have a problem uninstalling something. Not a big deal. You can directly from here go to programs and features. You can access their programs and you can uninstall them. You can change them. You have full control of the other person's computer. This only lasts until they close down the application from their end or you need to restart their system. At that point, if they still need further assistance, you'll again need to request a new security code, which that person enters, and you are again given full control of that computer. That simple, that easy, so it's quite easy to still get help directly from within Windows or assist someone else. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.